Can I create a zooming process to enlarge just a part of a 3D image? If yes, how can I do it? Um, all right. There are a lot of um, cropping and clipping um, algorithms, functions, built into Mathematica. Um, let me get that engine into Mathematica. Example data, test image 3D, and the CT engine. Image take, image, um, image crop, image stream. There, these are the couple of functions that can be used to crop a, a region from a 2D or 3D image. Um, for example, if here I say image trim the engine, um, point 50, 50, 50 as a seat point and a radius, um, let's say 20, I can get just this portion of the image 3D. Of course, as always, you can wrap and manipulate around this um, and make all of these variables um, as controls. So let's say up to 100. And now this is doing a zooming uh, starting from that 50, 50, 50 point. Of course, still I can add this to be an XYZ. And the XYZ values can also be um, any values. Let's look at the dimensions. Like uh, width, the height of uh, the engine, image dimensions of the engine. Those are the values. X can be anything between 0 and width. Y can be anything ranging from 0 and depth. And the Z can be any value, any point between 0 and the height of the image. So let's move our X, Y, Z to somewhere in the center. And here we can change how big of a region we want to see. Um, there is a little option available padding to this image stream, for example. Um, if it's uh, by default, it's uh, set to be none so that anything outside the region is not visible. However, if I set it to, um, to zero, it pads so that more of the volume, you always, for example, get in this case, um, radius, um, two times radius uh, cubed of the radius that you have specified. Okay. Uh, another question. We have two more for you here. Are okay. tracking features automatic for the detection of features? Uh, by default, uh, there is an algorithm for uh, computing the good features to track. Let's go to the documentation of image feature track. So if you just pass a set of images um, to image feature track, the good features to track are automatically computed and tracked from image 1 through image n. However, you can specify a set of points which can be um, manually selected or computed by your algorithm. For example, maybe image corners could be the good points to, to track for a set of images. Um, and then those images are used as the feature points on image one and then track to image two and so on. Okay. And we've been doing a lot of, with image 3D. Yes. How big of an image 3D can we handle? So on this laptop, I have only 256 megabyte of uh, memory on my graphics card. Basically, graphics card is the limiting factor for um, rendering and pro um, basically rendering of um, 3D images. Um, let's look at the documentation of image 3D. Same as image objects, we have many types available um, for image 3D. Bit byte, bit 16, real, real 32, and real, which is a 64-bit real. Um, it's important to make sure you're dealing with byte images uh, because they use they consume only one byte per voxel if you have a grayscale um, volume. Um, so it would consume eight times less memory compared, compared to a real image. For processing, uh, keep in mind that, for example, doing a filtering with radius 5 means that you're processing each um, pixel with an 11 cube neighborhood. So the time is actually um, a lot more than processing a 2D image. Um, if you're running a process and, um, for example, setting the history length might be helpful in case you're um, running a solution that has multiple steps and you don't care about having all of the um, history stored. Um, also keep in mind that if you have a lot of uh, volumes rendered, in your notebook, it can slow down because it's, again, consuming your graphics memory. But um, aside from that, anything that fits in the um, graphics memory for rendering and any, anything that fits in the memory for processing should be handleable.